so glad you asked. There are a lot of reasons to love it. So um, one of the first things is the new hardware that Windows 8 comes on. And we happen to be working on, here on a system called the Dell XPS 12. This is what we would call a convertible type system. So it looks on the surface like a normal laptop. It has this beautiful carbon fiber uh, cover. Um, but what this thing does that a normal laptop doesn't do um, is it has this amazing screen flipping mechanism that allows me to just turn it like this, move your bag, and turn it down and now operate like a tablet. And so this PC now operates just like a tablet. Um, and so it, it winds up being the perfect system to do a demo on because I can do all the normal tablet stuff and I can also do the demo of a mouse and keyboard, which is one of the big reasons to love Windows 8. It's the same system that runs your tablet, that runs your laptop, that runs your desktop. So it's one thing to learn, it's one set of apps to get. The apps can run across all those different, uh, all those different devices. And so, great reason to love Windows 8. The next reason is how personal it is. Uh, it starts with the lock screen. When you first open your system, this is the lock screen. This is my photo that I put here very easily. It's giving me notifications from applications, my battery life, my network, the time, and my next appointment. To unlock, I simply swipe this up, and now I'm presented with something called the lock screen. If you've seen any of our TV advertising, you'll have seen this feature, but this is a, another really cool way that the system is personal. And the first time you log in this way, you're really gonna love it, I think. So my password now is to touch that dog's nose, that dog's nose, and swipe down here. And so that type of login, it's called picture password, it's actually more secure than a four digit pin. And that's because of how many places you can touch. You can do taps, lines, and circles. And that combination makes it really um, hard for somebody to just guess. So now here I am at Windows 8. This is the new start screen. This is another reason to love Windows 8. This is the way that you launch applications. And the way I think of it is, we basically took the things that people loved in Windows 7 in terms of speed and performance and reliability, and we added this layer, which is really a lot of fun and easy. And it means that the whole system just gets easier to use. So here you have the way that you launch applications in Windows 8, and, whoops. And so you can see that it's very fast and fluid, like it's directly under my finger, and so it just feels very natural. Um, you can see that it's all sorts of things. It's, uh, it's programs, it's, um, it's my email app and giving me the latest kind of emails that have hit my inbox. It's, it's people, and so I don't just pin programs, but I can pin individual pieces of information like internet, web page favorites. Here I've got a stock application, but I've also pinned individual stocks to my home page. And that means that it becomes my dashboard. It becomes like, this is the stuff I care about. I've got Office here in like a front spot, so it's really quick to get to. I've got my key apps for work here. I've got my entertainment apps grouped. And these things are really easy to move around. I just grab them and uh, pull down and move them around like that. I could do the same thing with a mouse. Here I'm just gonna use a mouse. And yeah, and and it's the same thing. I just click and move this thing around. Like you're not gonna, you'll see me clicking, but here all I do is right, I just click and grab it. Um, same thing I do with my finger, where you just grab it and you pull down, right? And so, um, so it makes it very easy to personalize this page. I can pinch to zoom this, and now I see all my apps. So if I wanted to jump to the end of the list, no problem. I want to jump to the front of the list, no problem. I can also personalize these groups. So these are groups that I've created names where I can move them around and say, you know what, I'm on vacation this week, I'm putting entertainment at the front. <laughs> and so now, you know, I've just really, like, mm -hmm. I've pushed that work stuff out to the end. And so it's mm -hmm. the stuff I care about. So this screen immediately comes your personal screen. You can set the background colors, you can set, um, uh, you know, the notification mm -hmm. icons, all that stuff. Uh, I can go in and I can name these groups as well. Like, uh, by just doing this simple swipe or by using the mouse and right clicking, I can right click and then I can do what here is called name group and I'm just gonna call it fun and I left an extra capital but now you can see I've got a group called fun. So again, it's like super easy for me to personalize and make it mine. So that personalization is one of the reasons to love Windows 8. It, it's key to know also that, like when you would expect from Windows, it supports multiple accounts. So I can create an account for my daughter or my wife or anybody that I want to share with, 
and they can log into their system. So when my daughter logs into the system, she's not messing around with my tiles and my apps and my settings. Mm -hmm. She has her own, her own color, her own background, um, you know. And so I can share the system with her in a much easier way. Another reason to love Windows 8 is sharing the system with other people. Um, what else? The next thing is the apps. The apps in Windows 8 are a big reason to love it. And I'll start with Internet Explorer as a great example. And so here I am on the CNN homepage. And uh, an important thing to notice that's not immediately obvious is that there's nothing on screen except the web page. So if I zoom in here on a particular part of the web page, you'll see that there's nothing. It's just the web page on screen. There's no clock. There's no nothing on the edges. It's just very clean. And it's part of the reason why when you look at the system, you're like, oh, wow, it's just, it's really beautiful. Like, it, it's visually nice to look at. And that's one of the big reasons. Now, this leads to important, an important way that the system works. Windows is always on the side here. And if you're, if you're playing around with Windows 8, these are the things you need to know. You need to know that you swipe in from the right to get, the, uh, to get what we call the charms. You swipe in from the left to do application history. And here you're going to see a history of applications that I've been running. And I'm just going to keep going until I get back to uh, my CNN app. Like the old control tab back, except prettier. Yeah, it's just here, and it's when you're using a tablet, it's right under your thumb, so it's like super. And you can see how fast it is. I'm just like flipping back to. If I want to go direct to something, I can go out like this. I can go out and back in, and I see a list of them, and I can just go straight to the one I want. Right. So that's important. I swipe from the right. There's Windows. I swipe from the left. There's my history. I swipe from the top. And that's the app controls. But so again, they're hidden unless I want them. But the app is on the top and bottom. Windows is on the left and right. The app is on the top and bottom. I can do it all with a mouse too. So here you'll see. Um, the first thing I do is a right click. Right click brings up the same as the app controls. So swiping up and down. Um, the corners do the same thing as swiping in from the edge. So here I go to this top corner and I get the charms. I go to this top corner and I get the history. And so those few things, plus knowing that the Windows key always takes you back to the start screen, are really all you need to get started, whether you're on mouse and keyboard or on a touch-based system. So easy and consistent across all your systems, that's another reason to love Windows 8. What confused me was the changing of desktops. Mm -hmm. Like, say, using Word. And especially when I wanted to do things like cut and paste from a Word document, uh, one Word document to another, or from a web page into a Word document. And I, well, I, most I, of that stuff works the way you would expect. So the way to think about the mm -hmm. desktop now is the desktop is like an app. And so if you want the desktop, you just simply click on it and go here. And let me clean this up so you can see, uh, because I was doing demos already, but let me just clean it up. This is what you would normally see. You'd be on the start screen, mm -hmm. you'd be like, oh, let me go to the desktop. And you can see how the tile yeah. matches what the desktop is and you go here. If you happen to use the desktop a lot, maybe you want to make this a bigger tile, I right click here and I say larger and I'm going to put it in I'm going to put it in prime position here so it's super easy to find every time I want it because I happen to do a lot of excel work and so I want to go to the desktop a lot. So here it is. This is the desktop that you know and love. You don't have the start button anymore. What you have is the start screen. This is the way you launch apps, right? So let's say I'm on the desktop I'm like, "Oh, I want to start Word." I go click and I start Word. Or, and you can see how fast this Dell yeah. XPS 12 is. Or I click start, and I do Excel. And you can see how fast those things start. This is a really nice, fast PC. Another way that I can uh, start, so that's just the basic way everybody will use the system. People who um, you know, are more like a power user, they're gonna do what, what we call um, uh, windows and type. So you click the windows button to go to the start screen, and then you just type what you want. So Excel, and hit enter. Or I go home and I type Word and hit enter. And you can see again, it's the same thing as what I did. I can do PowerPoint, hit enter. And so that's just using the built-in uh, search function of, of Windows 8. So all the things that you talked about, like uh, doing copy and paste, so let me just open this workbook. I'm gonna use Windows uh, Snap capability. I'm gonna do, uh, and let me do uh, a Word document. And I'm going to say blank document, and I'm going to snap this to the side. So here I am, and then I'm just going to type some mumbo jumbo. 
Yeah. And then if I want to copy and paste, I'll just use the mouse again and I'll go like this. Right click, copy, go over here, right click, paste. And, and so. What if while I was doing all of this, I wanted to also keep an eye on one of my um, tile apps? Yeah, and so the, the, the Start Scream and the Win Windows 8 apps do support something called Snap. And so let's look in our history and see what apps we have. And a good one that you might have is maybe you have an IM going. Yeah. So here you can see all my running apps. Here I'm going to grab the messaging app and I'm going to drag it out. And if I hover on the side here, you'll see that uh, Windows kind of pushes out to the side on both sides yeah. if I hover. If I just drop it there, you see the, the messaging app kind of shrinks down and gets into small. So now I can have an IM chat with you know, while I'm working on my documents, doing what I need to do. If I need this app to get big, I can shrink the, the desktop and I get a thumbnail view here and I have this app in full screen now, right? So I could do that with say, um, let's say I wanted to do the mapping application. So I wanna have an IM while I'm looking at a map, right? And I can right click and I can say, go to my location. It finds me in Austin. All the while I have this, this chat going or um, let's say I wanted to browse the web and I want to have a chat about this current web page that I'm looking at. So like the ability to put those things side by side. And again, just really easy to get rid of it and go back home. The key part is like, you ever get lost? Hit the Windows key, go back to start. Search looks pretty impressive on this. Search is a big deal. So um, this is what the charms are about. And if you think about what you do on the internet now, you have search, you have share. These are some of the biggest things that you do on a computer these days. So let's use the example of search. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm doing a search for Chicago. And what you see here is I automatically start to search on apps. This is a weather app that I've pinned that's telling me the weather in Chicago. I can also search inside settings. I don't have any that have Chicago. I have some files on the system, Word documents that have the word Chicago in them. I can search in Internet Explorer. And what's happening here is that all these apps on the right side are apps that have said, hey, I know how to search. And so they show up in the search yeah. list. So Internet Explorer, you see, search for Chicago. Of course, I can search the mapping app for Chicago because the map app, yeah. the built-in Bing app knows how to search for Chicago. And so this ability to search across all your apps is great. Like if you're looking for a movie, you want to watch the latest Batman, you can search across Xbox video, you can search across Netflix, you can search across other uh, video apps that, that you've installed. Um, the next cool thing that, that, that the charms do, and it's the kind of the similar thing, is I'll, I'll use the travel app for an example. So here I am in the built-in travel app, and again, you can see it's full screen. It doesn't have any kind of extra noise, so it's just really nice to look at. I can look at photos. This is uh, a panorama app. And so this allows me to just pan around and look at um, Photosynth that people have bought. And if you haven't tried Photosynth, I recommend you get it on your phone, your Windows phone, and uh, try it out. It's very cool. And so this allows me to uh, just see these cool photos that people have put together, three to 60. Now let's say I really like this thing and I wanna share it with somebody. Much like the way that I search, I can swipe in to see the charms and I can type share. And so in the same way that a app said, hey, I know how to search, these apps have said, I know how to share. So my mail app knows how to share, my people app knows how to share, it can push to Facebook, that's the built-in address book in Windows 8. Um, and I have one more app here. Uh, if I had the Twitter app installed, it would allow me to, to post to Twitter. But the key thing here is that if I just click on email, you see that the, the mail app comes in, it automatically formats the two line and the message, and all I have to do is hit send. And the mail is out and gone. And just like that, I have searched and shared, and I never had to leave this app to share. It's not like I had to go copy the link and post it and send it. I just swipe in, share, send it to where I want to send it, and I'm done. And that is kind of a subtle thing, but like the notion that there's nothing on screen except the picture, it's just one of those simple things that you really start to appreciate after you've used it for a while. So what would you, sort of a closing word to say to somebody like me who was a skeptic and who was upset with the different desktops and what should I do? I would encourage you to go out and look at a new Windows 8 PC and give it a try. I think you're gonna be impressed at the performance, the personalization, and just the ease of use of it.